Back in the day, Finland's schools sucked. When they tested the world's kids, both Finland and us were usually about the same, you know, somewhere down the list of nations. But Finland didn't like that. So they tried some new ideas, and in no time, Finland shot to the top of the world. Their students were number one. How did they do that? That was the one question I wanted an answer to, and I went straight to see the Minister of Education. Before I could say anything, she blurted out their top secret. They do not have homework. Wait, so you reduce the homework you give yes. them in school? Yes. They should have more time to be kids, to be youngsters, to, to enjoy the life. How many hours of homework did you get last night? Um, about 10 minutes or something. 10 minutes of homework. Yeah. yeah. 20 minutes, but not 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. The whole term, homework, uh, is kind of obsolete, I think. So they have no homework. What if all they want to do is climb a tree? They could climb a tree, yeah. But they end up, while climbing the tree, probably finding out about different insects, and they can come to the school next day telling me about what they found. How many hours a day do the younger ones go to school? Um, Mondays, three hours. Tuesdays, four hours. It varies. It's 20 hours a week. It's very, oh, man. Now, does this three or four hours at school include the lunch hour? Yes. How are they learning anything? How are you getting anything done? Your brain has to, it has to relax every now and then. If you just constantly work, 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 then you stop learning. And there's no use of doing that for a longer period of time. Finland students have the shortest school days and the shortest school years in the entire Western world. They do better by going to school less. Yeah! Uh, how do you know which schools are the best? The neighborhood school is the best school. It is not different that, than the school which can be, for example, situated in the town center because all the schools in Finland, they are all equal. School is about finding your happiness, finding what, you know, finding a way to learn what makes you happy. The children need to be baking, they should be doing art, doing all these things because there's this very short time that they're allowed to be children in the United States. Education is a business. There are corporations making money. Here, it's so student-centered that when we had to redo our playground, they had the architects come in and talk to the kids. Were, the they, were they listened to? Yes, yes. There are things on our playgrounds that the students really wanted. We tried to teach them to be happy person, to be respect others and respect yourself. You're concerned with their happiness. Oh, yeah. What the hell do you teach? I teach math. So the math teacher says that the, the, the first thing out of your mouth of what you wanted these students to get out of school was to, was to be happy, to have a happy life. Yeah. And you're the math teacher. Yeah. When do they have their time to play and socialize with their friends and grow as human beings? Because there's so much more life around than just school. You want them to play? I want, I want children to play. And that was the principle.